there must be in all this city area provision for working class people, for people of low and middle income to be able to reside in the area. The world has fallen in love with its brutalist buildings. We love our heritage and it needs to be kept. This place had been empty too for a number of years because somebody died here and it's haunted. I had a friend come who invited herself at the drop of a hat. She woke me up about three o'clock in the morning. She said, Mine, there's someone walking around here. I said, yes, the place is haunted. Oh, I'm never coming again. I said, well, it doesn't worry me. It's real people you've got to worry about. We're here today to announce the sale of public housing properties at Miller's Point. You can see the serious building over there that is part of this sell-off. This building doesn't belong to the government, it belongs to all of us. And our history and our heritage is not for sale, ladies and gentlemen. Moving us at this stage of life, very upsetting, isn't it? Moving away from the people you know, the area you know. I mean, if I go somewhere strange, I don't know what I'm doing. Over my dead body. <laughs> That can be arranged too. I oh, know. No, we're fighting. We're fighting. As I say, they don't make them tough like me anymore. We want a, a, a healthy city that has a mix of population. We don't want it just to be an enclave for the wealthy. You need to keep buildings like this to join the dots so you can tell your story in the future, so you can remember where you've come from and what you're doing. And buildings that work, architecture that helps communities knit together and become cohesive, are fundamentally important buildings. They're, they're cultural and significant artefacts and we've got to keep them. The state government's decision not to heritage list the building has been overturned in the Land and Environment Court. It effectively puts the brakes on the government's plans to redevelop the iconic Harborside building.